Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I hope you have already seen the video that I've recently posted regarding B1 preparation, like how can you be ready in less than two weeks. Um, but I got a lot of requests that the video was too long because I was speaking about the whole process in the same video. So I've decided to break it down and make smaller videos for each module so it will be easier for people to find the video and uh, do the preparation uh, each module like one module at a time so this video is specifically about reading so i will give you some tips and tricks that you can use for the preparation and in the exam but if you're preparing for any other module for example writing <coughs> listening or speaking please refer to my other videos but this video is about reading, so let's get to it. Um, so in my personal experience, I found the reading module to be the most difficult of all four modules. It could be different for all of you, but what I can give you the tips and tricks regarding reading is, for example, I'll take an example of the Goethe reading exam, which is a little bit different from the Telk exam. So uh, for example, in Goethe, you have like five parts, five tiles, um, like part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. And um, the trick that I, I personally used is I looked at the tiles, which has the highest points or it has more questions, right? For example, uh, tile three and tile four in Goethe exam, I found these to be the easiest ones and they, they, um, they have the highest, um, highest points as well. So in tile three, what um, what is there is like basically there would be different ads, you know, like here you can see there would be ads and there would be a statement that you have to match with it. So, for example, there would be a statement that there is a person he's looking for a Deutsche course, but he wants to do it in the evening. So you have to look through the ads and you have to look for something that says Deutsche course. So, so I would just highlight it there. And then I would look at the timing in the um, in the ad. If it says in the evening, then I would say, yeah, okay, this ad is for this person. So we have to match. So there are around like um, so there are like seven questions here, and there would be one extra, I think, that does not match with anything. So because it it has seven points, and this I found very easier. So I did this one at first. So I would recommend to do if you find just go through the uh, paper quickly and check if you find it easier, do this first. So at least I did this first. And then I went to tile four. In tile four, there would be a statement and there would be a lot of comments from different people. In my exam, the question was uh, that smoking should be forbidden. And then there were like so many people, I think around seven or eight, they gave their opinions about it. And then you have to check if this person is against the statement or in favor. So this was very easy for me because from someone's comment, you can easily tell if this person is in favor or not. And this also has like uh, more points, like uh, seven or eight points. Then it was easier for me to make sure that I have already enough points for this module in order to pass it. So I did tile three and tile four first, and then I moved to tile one, two, and three. I find I usually find in the Goethe uh, tile one and two, part one and part two, a little bit difficult because sometimes the the German in there, like in the context, is so difficult to understand, and the questions are usually um, not exactly. They're not using exactly the same words that is written in the passage, but they would they could also be synonyms. So again, I would give you the tip that in order to master the reading, do as much as exercises you can from the model papers. I've also put some links um, in the description. You can also do some exercises from there, but this is the only way to master it. You have to do um, the exercises or the model papers as much as you can in order to make sure that you understand how to do this exercise. What I did in tile one or part one, part two and part five is that I highlighted the information that I require in the questions and I didn't read the whole passage and we usually don't have enough time for that. 
So I only highlighted the information that is needed and then I quickly looked for the highlighted information in the passage, which saved me a lot of time. But to be honest, in the exam, because the passage was too difficult for me to understand, I was a little bit nervous and reading was the only part where I felt a little bit nervous. Everything else was okay. So the reading part, make sure that you don't waste a lot of time. I think I did waste a little bit because at the end, I was not able to find the information and I was trying to go through the passage as fast as I could. So don't do that. I'll try to highlight the information that has been asked in the question and only look for that information in the passage. This will help you and I'm sure if you gain enough points, then you can easily pass it because in order to pass the module, you need at least 18 out of 30, which is like this 60 percent. And um, I hope if you do at least three tiles nicely, you will be able to pass it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, you can always write in the comments and I will try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you need any kind of material that I've shared in my videos, you can always inbox me on my Instagram and you can send me your email ID and I will try to send you the material that I have. And that will surely help you to prepare for your exam. But if you have any other feedback, any other question, you're always welcome to leave a comment or you can write me on my Instagram page. So thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.